Hey guys, I'm going to do a little quick video here on Apple Baseball's computer version or Baseball for Windows as they call it. And I'm just going to kind of look at the gameplay. I'm not going to really go into the setting up a league or doing a season replay, stuff like that. You can do all that. Same thing as with all the other PC games. You can do all that same stuff. Okay, so first thing is to go in and set up a game. And on the disc, when you get the disc, that's another thing is instead of being a download like most of the PC games when you purchase them it's just a download well this is going to be a physical disk that they will send you okay so on that disk you're going to get the 57 seasons 76 and 2014 seasons now I got these great teams of the past uh, discs also but when you and when you order another season, you're gonna it's gonna be a disc also that you're gonna have to load onto your computer and stuff like that. So okay, so to pick a to play a game, you're just gonna pick your teams and we'll say New York or Baltimore visiting, and then uh, you can pick a, you know a team from another season to play. And we'll play the 2014 Red Sox. And click OK. Okay, so it's going to say cannot save stats for teams from different organizations. Basically, you're doing an individual game here. You're not doing, uh, you know, a league game or a season replay game. So it's not going to save the stats for that. It will still keep the box score and keep your stats, but it will not save them. Okay, so to these, this right here is your preferences for how much time you're going to allow between your for your decisions, like to send a runner to for an extra base or throw to a certain base. Uh, that's how much time you're going to get to make those decisions. Here's your different game preferences. Okay, so to you can make out your own lineups, obviously, or you can click on the primary pitcher, which is their ace pitcher, and it will automatically fill in your lineups for you with the most common used lineup. Now over here you can choose to manually manage it, or you can click on auto manage. And it's going to give you some other managers down here that you can use. And they have different different attributes. And don't ask me what they are because I haven't really delved into that. Okay, so for the Red Sox, we'll just click on the pitcher and have them fill in the lineups. And we'll say manual manage on that one. And so over here is your buttons, your offensive and defensive buttons. You know, pitching, pitch out, whether you want to hold the runner on or not, pitch from the stretch, infield in or out, uh, swing away, um, hit and run, bunt, steal, uh, call timeout. Okay, so Baltimore is up first. Now up here is obviously, obviously your play-by-play -play summary. And so you have to read. You can't really see a result like uh, you can on some of the other PC games. It gives you the result of the dice roll and the cards, blah, blah, blah. You're just going to have to look at the play-by-play -play on here. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We go to options. You can change your announcer to play by play light commentary or full broadcast. Uh, you can change your announcer's affiliation, you know, your different sounds. 
stuff like that. Um, uh, the display. Here's your your different display options that you have to choose from. Okay, so basically you're gonna have to read the play-by-play -play or listen to it. You know, you can turn it on. I don't have it turned on right now. Uh, let's see. Actually, announcer and sounds. Let's go announcer. Okay, so that's kind of what it sounds like with the announcer. Um, you know, obviously he can't pronounce very most of the names, but that's okay. Um, so my biggest problem with this game is there's no cards or dice on the screen. If the cards and dice were on the screen, this game would be 1,000% better. You know, show me, you know, give me the card, show me the result. I'd like to just see the result in the uh, announcer window instead of having all this stuff to wade through. Now, obviously, I think you can uh, you can go in and lighten up the commentary a little bit, but still, I just want to see the result. Just give me the dice, the cards, the result. Without the dice and cards, this game is just it's just a blase game to me. I don't. I mean, I'm I'm not seeing how how the uh, they're getting to the result. I know it uses the master game as the engine, but I want to see I want to see the steps. You know, I want to see the roll. I want to see the number on the card. I want to see the result because when I when I see the card, the cards to me represent the players, and when you don't have that, it's just there's a big a big disconnect there for me it's more of just a it's, it seems more like an app to me than an actual PC game or something you know 
that's just kind of my thoughts on it. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it's like and and give you my thoughts on it. You know, this game just it's really hard for me to play because of of the way it's you know the the game works. You know, without the cards and dice, like I've said a hundred times already, it's just it's just a blase game to me. So there you have it. That's all for now. Uh, you guys take care. I'll talk to you later.